Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. We're gonna talk about the Pro 10 and how do you refill it as efficiently as possible. Pro 10 cartridges, PGI-72s are the most incredibly easy cartridges to refill because they require zero modification. All you gotta do is reset them properly and drip fill them until they weigh approximately 32 to 33 grams. And you can check that visually to make sure that the weight and the actual volume of ink reported as you're looking at it matches. And I'll show you how to do that. Not physically, because I've done this in the past already, many other videos. If you have any questions about Pro 100 modification, I have a playlist for that. If you have any questions about the Pro 10 PGI-72 modifications and refilling techniques, they're the same as the ones for the 9500 Mark II. The cartridges are identical. Look those up and you will see all of my techniques, how to go about doing this properly. Now, but let me show you some tricks that you have to abide by because even though this is the easiest cartridge to refill, period, there is no other easier one out there, literally. It's an OEM cartridge that you can actually refill from the get go. Reset it, refill it, and pop it back in your printer. People are having problems. They're having ink delivery problems. How is that possible? Okay, the cartridge utilizes a non-sponge type delivery. It is an internal pleated bag that holds the ink. You got to make sure there's no air in that bag. Okay, that's the last thing you want. Now, lucky for you, air floats to the top. So even if you get a couple of, you know, half an ml of air in there, it will go to the top. It will not flow into your print head, assuming, of course, you're printing right side up and not with the printer upside down. I'm joking. Okay, that's impossible. But you get what I mean. The air will always be on the upper level of that, whatever amount of ink is left in that bag. Now, one thing that you have to be aware of is that even though this bag is an engineering marvel, really, it has a diaphragm made out of metal that actually applies a little bit of pressure against that bag at all points, in, you know, no matter how much ink is left in it. It's always applying the correct amount of pressure. Now, let me show you what this looks like underneath. So here's what it looks like. Here's a Pro 9500 Mark II printhead, okay? I can actually pop this in and it fits perfectly. Now, here's the catch. Because these cartridges are not like Epson cartridges that literally mate. You know what I'm talking about. They literally mate into a spigot on the printhead. Or if it's something like this, even a Canon Pro 1000 uses the same method. The cartridge actually enters through a spigot. A O-ring actually hugs that spigot and prevents any ink leakage or air leakage entering the printer, okay? Not so with these. Also, the Pro 100 has the same problem. It is merely making contact with those ports, and it is sealing simply by contact. So you might say, well, what's the problem with that? Well, if you allow, let me, let me give you the best scenario, brand new cartridge. Yeah, that that oval shape port right there, the outer, not the sponge, but this surface right here is spanky clean. When you put it on your printhead, it seals beautifully against that silicone gasket. But later on, as you are refilling, you might be a little bit sloppy and you spill some ink on the outer edges of that and you know you put the clip back on it and with with time you end up maybe with some debris or some crusty deposits on that surface and the cartridge no longer sits perfectly flush and sealing 100 percent air is going to start to leak in and it might find its way through the printhead and out those ports the nozzles and you will not be getting a perfect nozzle check, or you will be getting some artifacts in your prints. So here's what you do. The first time 
This cartridge, brand spanking new. I just installed it a month and a half ago, and now it is declared empty. So I remove it. Here's the chip. Here's my resetter. We plug it into a USB source for power. I orient the cartridge this way. I bring it down against the resetter. You will get a red flash and then a steady red light for about four seconds. It goes out automatically. You slide the cartridge out. Now it is reset. Now comes time to refill. So you're going to take an alcohol pad and just wipe that bottom. Just remove any kind of debris you may have on there now. You want to start with a nice, clean surface. You have your inks in a bottle or a very soft, squeezy bottle. You're going to go ahead and begin to dribble the ink in. Okay? And it's going to go right in. I mean, it's going to be absorbed readily. And at some point, when you feel that you're reaching the end, and again, you can have this on a scale if you wish. That way you can monitor the weight. Remember, 32 to 33 grams is full. But what if you have some air trapped in there and you really don't know? You may end up to the point where the sponge now begins to pull some ink on it. And you think, eh, this is full. But it really weighs only 28 grams. Okay? What you need to do is remove that ink, hold the bottle straight up, squeeze it, and pull back. You will suck that ink out or use a syringe, anything you have to suck away that little bit of ink that's pulling up. And clearly, because there is air in it, it acts like it's full, but it really only weighs 28 grams. Give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. You will see foam coming out through the sponge, that exit sponge. Remember, there's no sponge inside, just on the exit port. Squeeze. You will see foam coming out. Let go. Let that foam dissipate. Squeeze again. And again, repeat that process, squeeze, and now no foam comes out. Add some more ink. Again, monitoring the weight. It starts to pull up again, and it's only 30 grams at this point. Take it out, of course, blot or remove that ink, that excess ink. Squeeze. You will see foam coming out again. And you continue to do this until you reach the proper weight of 32 to 33 grams. Now, what will happen if you have a perfect bag with no air in it is that it'll start to pull up and it'll weigh about 33 maybe a little bit more than 33 squeeze it suck out some of that ink you want it to be between 32 and 33 grams take a clean paper towel blot that surface make sure these are clean i run them under the faucet make sure they're nice and clean pop it back on flip it right side up and put them away until you need to use them if you need to use it right away, then you'll have to reinstall it in your printer. Again, I recommend you have two sets of these because you don't want to have that slot on this printhead devoid of a cartridge for too long. Air will get into it. There's nothing preventing that ink from just exiting the printhead. Okay, and you'll have air in it. Luckily, the printer will run a purge cycle after the installation of either one or ten cartridges it will run a global purge cycle to remove any air that may have infiltrated into the printhead while you were performing this refilling process okay so the best just like i always say with the pro 100 though these can be run till they are empty is to have a second set already primed to full and reset one of them goes empty or almost empty. Say you're going to do a big print job and you realize one of my cartridges is empty or nearly empty. Remove the whole lot, replace it with a full reset and refill set of cartridges. Boom. Now you can take those cartridges to your bench and slowly one by one reset them and refill them at your leisure. That way you're not hurrying the process. And another trick this will happen after several cycles. If you only pour ink, say, in the middle, okay, like right here, chances are that some of the areas in the peripheral edges of that sponge may begin to become a little bit dry. Yeah, I know they become wet, but a lot of people, especially when you buy cartridges on eBay, they may come to you without that clip. 
that sponge is crusty and dried up. Make sure you cover on your normal refilling procedure. Make sure you always cover 100% of that sponge, okay? You want to keep that sponge wet, okay? And any ink that may have dried up, dissolved away, okay? And remember, this is pigment ink, so you cannot dissolve pigment particles, but you're dissolving the glycol base clear component of the ink that may go ahead and gum up and dry up. And because you have particles of pigment, it becomes crusty. It's not like dye. Dye is just molecules. You will not have particles. Okay, so there you go. That's what you need to do. Make sure that refill them as soon as you can. If you have a second set, you will always have that second set ready to go. If you only have one set, then you got to work really, really fast. You got to take that empty cartridge, quickly reset it, fill it quickly, test it, make sure that you don't have air in it, that it weighs 32 to 33 grams, and then immediately put it back into the printer. Close the lid. It will run a purge cycle to make sure that if any air got into that vacant port, it has been expelled. At that point, as soon as it gets done doing that purge cycle, run a nozzle check. Before you start printing a job, you need to make sure that your refilling job was done correctly, that you are actually feeding ink at the correct level to your printer. Otherwise, you will harm your printhead. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. it again, you can make this so easy, but you could also make it difficult if you don't follow just a bit of common sense Make sure that that seal, because it's the only guarantee you have against air leaking into the printhead or even ink leaking outside of the printhead. That can happen as well. So make sure that surface is nice and clean, spanky clean. And that will seal against the printhead perfectly. And you no longer have to worry about ink flow. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions that maybe I didn't cover, go ahead and ask me below. And by the way, in a couple of days, I'm going to be receiving some more stuff from Breathing Colors, and I will show you that in a subsequent video. So thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and join my Facebook group. We're growing really, really fast. And there's a lot of people in there with the same interest that you have. All right. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. Happy refilling. Bye-bye, everyone.